is Western Mass News on Fox 6. We begin tonight with continuing coverage on a story that we first brought to you earlier this evening. Bloomberg reports MGM is now exploring options to sell at Springfield Casino. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 10. I'm Chris Pisano. And with the casino being a vital part of our downtown's landscape, we're getting answers on how a possible sale could impact the city at large. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson live for us in studio tonight with those details. Maria. Well, Chris, the casino has become a downtown Springfield staple for so many in the five years since it opened its doors. And now reports of a possible sale have many people wondering what this could mean for Springfield's local economy. So we sat down with one expert who says it all depends on what fills that space. This is necessarily a big surprise in the long term. MGM Springfield may be getting a new owner. According to a recent report published by Bloomberg, the casino is exploring the sale of its Springfield location. The report says the company is working with financial advisors, but nothing is certain at this time. MGM first opened its doors in Springfield South End five years ago, and since has become an integral part of downtown's landscape. It's really too bad that it, it, it it didn't work out as well as it was supposed to, uh, but it'd be nice to see it keep going under some guise. And locals have mixed feelings about the report. I think if this building or property turned into something else that helped the community, I'm not a big fan of uh, gambling. I think um, it, it can tear down a community. As disappointing as it may be to lose MGM, though a potential sale doesn't mean there would be an interruption in the casino's operation. Lisa Tots, who works at a nearby restaurant, says she's afraid losing it could hurt her own business. And she's not alone in her concerns. I think it could be maybe not devastating, but it could be, be negative. Local economics professor says the casino hasn't fulfilled its potential when it comes to jobs and revenue. Springfield is just a bit of an outlier and it's probably not big enough and strong enough and, and has enough promise to make it attractive to, to really put the money in to rejuvenate it. Last year, the property generated an average of $22 million per month. But despite multi-million dollar revenues each month, the casino's revenue still falls short about $10 million of their original monthly projections. A possible reason? Gambling doesn't look the same as it did when MGM Springfield first opened. Online betting became legal last year, and the year before that, lawmakers legalized sports betting right here in the Bay State. The whole industry is, has probably gone through a transformation, a sort of a shakeout in these five years, and it's, it's been at the expense of the Springfield Casino. Roger says if the company does sell, MGM Springfield is a tough act to follow. We've reached out to several local leaders, including the mayor's office, for comment on this report. All have either declined to comment at this time or they did not get back to us. Additionally, we did reach out to MGM Springfield spokesperson who tells us that we are aware of the recent press reports and have a longstanding policy not to comment on any rumors. Reporting live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News. Maria, thanks for that live report.